grab a little bit more food. I hope you're all comfortable where you're at. Uh, grab a cup of coffee or tea or water or whatever you drink because uh, i got a lot to share with you guys today. So it's all good. It's all good stuff, so nothing to worry about. But uh, it's going to be time-consuming. I'm going to play catch-up on some cards and letters and some thank yous and that type of thing. So I'll be right back. I'm just going to finish off putting out uh, a little more seed, and uh, I'll be right back with you. see it's just an absolutely gorgeous day today here in northern Michigan. The sun is out. It's uh, it's 50 some degrees warmer than it was just a few short days ago. So we are definitely enjoying it. It's one of those days you really don't need gloves or a hat or probably really don't even need the coat. But uh, it feels really good. Beautiful blue sky, dark blue sky. But uh, we uh, we're in for some more cold weather here by this weekend. They're saying it's going to be back below zero. So even though right now it's below freezing, it, it actually feels really nice. Out. So I wish I had a chair here today. I'm afraid if I kneel, I might not be able to stand up. So uh, I hope you guys are comfortable because I've got, I've got a lot to share with you today. I've got to play some catch-up. I posted yesterday that uh, I didn't realize that I hadn't been to the P.O. box since Christmas. And uh, I guess because everybody's been so generous, I haven't had to worry about uh, donations coming in, so I, I didn't even think about it. So when I went there, I was surprised the, uh, the P.O. box was full. So I've got a lot of stuff to share with you, some cards, some just some nice notes from people. I, I get a chance to, to see them on a daily basis, but uh, I want to share those with you. But uh, I want to start out with the uh, thank yous first for uh, people that have donated here uh, between Christmas and now. Uh, first one is uh, uh, Jackie Bloomline, and Jackie is from uh, Lakeside Park, Kentucky. And Jackie, thank you very much. I, I appreciate that. I apologize for taking so long to get to the mailbox box to acknowledge you. You're probably concerned that it may have gotten lost. But it didn't. I got it, and uh, it's all good. So thank you very much. And I have posted everybody's name on the website too so you can see that and I'll tell people later where they can find that uh, I'd also like to thank Mike and Jackie Lagness from Bridgman, Michigan right here in my home state Mike and Jackie, thank you very much for your donation uh, I'd like to thank an R. Pepper from Hickory, North Carolina thank you, appreciate your help uh, also received a donation from Nancy Mossberg and Charles, I think it's a meme or mime uh, from Hamilton, Virginia. Thank you very much for your help. I'd uh, also like to thank uh, Vern and Janet Duffy. And they actually have a place not too far from here on Big Bear Lake. And then they spend their winters in uh, Venice, Florida. So they go back and forth every year. So they kind of check in on the cam, I guess, to see uh, what they're missing while they're down in Florida. I'd uh, also like to thank Mike and Trish Clark from Bloomfield Hills. Uh, kind of an interesting thing on Mike, if you go into the Snowman Cam chat room, you'll very often see him in there talking. And Mike is half of the uh, the very famous radio team from Detroit, uh, Drew and Mike. I want to say 20, 25 years, they've been the number one radio uh, program in Detroit. They do a phenomenal job. They're hilarious. But uh, I think Mike has recently retired because the, the, it's not on the air. and He's doing something on the Internet now. But... Uh, uh, very, very cool, uh, Mike and Trish, for you to help us out with a very generous donation. So thank you very much. And for those of you who want to thank him personally, just go to snowmancam.com. And a lot of times in the evening, you'll see Mike Clark in there. And uh, be sure to thank him for his help. Uh, I'd like to thank Doug and Donna Dunham from Jose, California. I'm sure it's much warmer where you're at, but uh, we're glad you're watching from out there. And we appreciate your help. Uh, also, like to thank uh, Ann Bryan and Kevin Williams from Orlando, Florida. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are much warmer down uh, down there. Although I did hear that uh, you did get a little cold snap here not too long ago. Uh, also, like to thank uh, Ron Hovarder, and he's from Fisherville, Virginia. Ron made a purchase in the Snowman Camp store, so thank you for that, Ron. 
Uh, also like to thank Fred and Joan Karam from Bonita Springs, Florida. And uh, they wrote a very nice letter and uh, they asked about the injured deer. And you know, I, I very rarely mention that. I think maybe a couple weeks ago I did. Uh, we do have a deer that comes in that is injured. Uh, a lot of people still ask about it every day. Uh, a lot of times I, I just don't have time to, to give a full explanation to, to everybody. But uh, just so you know, the authorities have all been contacted, whether it's Department of Natural Resources, Animal Control, uh, rescue places, and uh, they all tell me the same thing, that as long as, as that deer is walking and eating, that uh, let nature take its course. It's amazing how well they can, they can heal. And I know it's a pretty significant uh, shoulder injury, but... Uh, I, I've seen the deer, it, and it does. It, it can keep up with the best of them out there. I'd actually, I've seen him pick up that injured leg and smack another deer with it. So, although it's got to be painful, uh, he still has uh, limited use of it, and it looks like he's going to heal up and be great. So, for those of you that are concerned, like myself, uh, we're probably doing the best thing that can be done for that deer by just uh, letting him heal on his own. Uh, I'd also like to thank Gigi uh, Scholler from Marshville, uh, North Carolina. Uh, you also made a purchase in the Snowman Cam store, so we appreciate that. Uh, also like to thank Lynn Suits from Ann Arbor, Michigan, right here in my home state. Uh, go Blue. And uh, thank you. Uh, Lynn is on the, the uh, sustaining partner program that we have, and uh, she's making an automatic contribution every single month. So that's pretty cool. So we just received that today. In fact, for any of you that would like to get on that, it really helps us to budget and determine what we can purchase and put out. Uh, if you go to snowmancam.com, underneath the live feed in the chat room, on the left-hand side of the page, you'll see an area there where you can sign up to contribute monthly. And for as little as $5, uh, you can really make a big difference. So, Lynn, thank you for being involved in that program. And then I'd also like to thank uh, Angelica uh, Brenke from Han. Bird, Germany, uh, made a donation here, and uh, definitely appreciate that, uh, Angelica. Glad you're enjoying the cam. And uh, also, I wanted to mention, Richard told me about this. We, we've been talking about the uh, the bear contest. We have a contest every year where people take guesses on what day the bear is going to show up, and Richard puts a nice little uh, prize package together and sends it off to him. There was a little bit of confusion this year, and quite frankly, it's because so many people have joined the site ran out of dates and people just didn't get a chance to, to make their guess. So Richard told me that there's somebody in the chat room that goes by TT. There are some other numbers or letters too, but TT and that person uh, took the time to go into the message board and kind of straighten everything back out again with the calendar. Uh, not sure what I haven't had a chance to see it, but uh, TT, thank you very much for, for taking the time to, to help organize that. And if you guys would like to uh, get involved in that contest, uh, just go to snowmancam.com, and in the upper right-hand corner, there's a link for our message board. And you got to sign up uh, to become a member of that. And then from there, you can read the, the rules, and you can make your guess on when you think uh, the black bear are going to return. So that's kind of a cool thing, so you might want to check that out. All right, I want to go through. I've got some letters here. I hope you guys don't mind and you bear with me. I, I really want to share these with you because I, I get a chance to see them quite often, but, uh, but you folks don't. Uh, the first one is kind of a very cool card. I know you can't really see it from there, but it's a snowman, and uh, it's got a deer standing by it, and it's got some uh, birds up on the arm. And uh, it just says, uh, and again, I haven't been to the, the P.O. box since Christmas, so... I apologize for that, but this says, uh, "'Tis the season to wish special people like you a holiday, holiday jolly as can be." And this is Merry Christmas, Brenda and Ken. Love Snowman Cam so much. I used to live up there. Hope this helps for a donation. And that's from Jackie uh, Blueline. And Jackie, yes, trust me, your your donation is going to be very helpful. All right, I'm gonna see where I can set these down so I don't drop the whole pile. I don't want them to get dirty. I save all these. Okay, the next one here is from uh, Janet Duffy in Venice, Florida. Also sent a very nice card. And it says, Dear Ken and Brenda, thank you, thank you for all the joy you bring us in watching the Gaylord Wildlife. 
We have had a summer cottage at Big Bear Lake near Lewiston, Michigan for 50 years. Uh, in Lewiston, that's pretty close to us. That's probably a half hour drive away. Uh, for 50 years, uh, spending five summer months there and seven in Venice, Florida. And that's probably stretching it by saying five summer months up here because they probably get here as the snow has just left and they probably get out of here right as the snow starting to fly. Uh, we feed the birds, squirrels, deer, chipmunks, and an occasional bear, but it is so nice to know that you are watching over our wildlife critters in the winter. Again, thank you for your care and hard work, Vern and Janet Duffy, Big Bear Lake, and Venice, Florida. So what, what a nice letter, uh, and I certainly appreciate that. And it wouldn't surprise me that some of your wildlife may find their way over here. All right, next I have one from... Uh, Charles, I, I think it's Mime, M-I-E-H-M, -E from Hamilton, Virginia. And Charles says, thank you very much for feeding the wildlife and entertaining us with the Michigan Snowman Cam. We live in Virginia, 50 miles west of Washington, D.C. We do have some snow each year, but nothing like Michigan. I love snow, but not the cold. Yeah, I don't blame you. If we could figure out a way to have snow without the cold, uh, that would be great. Uh, keep up the good work with the wildlife and entertaining us. And that's from uh, Nancy Mossberg and, uh, and Charles from Hamilton, Virginia. And uh, so we certainly appreciate that. And I'm sure we probably, Brenda and I probably went through Hamilton. We did the, uh, oh, I forget what the scenic drive is called. Now I'm drawing a blank, but we started down in Roanoke, Virginia, and we took it all the way up to just west. I want to say maybe Hamilton is where it ends, and then we jumped on a road to head into Washington, D.C. So we probably have been there, so it's great to hear from you in Hamilton, Virginia. Okay, I've got another Christmas card, and it says, well, first of all, well, I guess I have to open it to see what's from. Uh, everything that happens in this life is a gift. Even as you struggle through this difficult time, you are gaining strength and wisdom that will help you further down the road. Okay, I remember. This is from Connie, Robin Connie Scott. And you'll see her as a Hummer Scott in the chat room. And, and she's the one that's done a lot of amazing things and has made up a lot of things that uh, we've either sold in the store or that we've given away. In fact, actually, uh, that's our next project right now, now that we've gotten through the holidays. Connie made up a bunch of special commemorative items uh, to kind of celebrate us being voted or can being voted uh, top 25 in the world. So she made up something special commemorating that and uh, we're going to be sending those off to everybody who has uh, signed up to be a sustaining partner and makes a monthly gift for as low as $5 a month. So uh, like I said, that's Richard and I's next project and uh, people will start seeing those shortly. And uh, kind of included a, a nice letter here. Well, in the re inside of the card, it says, Remember, no matter what happens, you'll always have people who care for you, which is very nice. And then the picture inside here is a picture of Noah in the ark and uh, kind of gathering all the animals. And in her letter, she says, uh, Greetings, Ken and Brenda. After many years of feeding the animals of the forest, your fruits of labor have paid off. Adding a camera to bring us all into the forest with you as you feed the wildlife and educating us as well. Uh, brought thousands of people together. When I saw this card, I thought of Noah. God chose this man also to endure much as he commanded to build an ark of massive size. Noah questioned God, how was he going to do this? God assured him uh, he would be there with him through every hard and difficult moment. God told Noah this ark was to save all animals. His family gathered food, and the resources that would be needed for the long journey. They stayed true to God in saving and feeding the animals. And, and it's hard. Sorry. Sometimes these things really get to me. says, your struggles were difficult, but you gained strength and wisdom along the way. 
Oh, Connie, why'd you do this to me? <laughs> Usually I'm at home in my office reading this stuff, and this happens and that's fine, but I thought I was over it. Oh, it's tough when this is live. Uh, your struggles were difficult, but you gained strength and wisdom along the way. Thanks to Earth Camp for assisting you in bringing the forest of Snowman Camp more to life. Uh, you chose to listen to your heart and keep feeding these animals in the forest when they needed it most. Amazing how God <clears throat> was so worried about the animals that he would, he would instruct his loyal servant Noah to follow this through. His life was blessed. Your compassion to animals of the forest really reminds me of Noah. Thank you for sharing your time and funds to bring the forest full of animals to us. Rob and Connie Scott. Okay, at this point, I wish I could just say cut and come back. That was, that was very nice, Connie. And, uh, no, I'm... I'm nowhere near Noah, that's for sure, but it was kind of you to, to share that thought. Okay, uh, hopefully this one won't be a, another one like that. This is from Doug and Donna Durham from San Jose, California. And they sent a very cute little card. It's got Snoopy on it. And uh, <laughs> Okay, hang in there. <clears throat> okay. Uh, this one says, Dear Ken and Brenda, thank you so much for the snowman camp. <clears throat> Don and I were wrapping presents yesterday. You can tell how far behind I am with this. Yesterday, with Christmas music playing, I decided we needed some Christmas scene on our entertainment system, too. We found your snowman camp. How wonderful. We'd like to help feed all the wonderful critters that trust you to feed them. I'm enclosing a check for, uh, please take some of that and take Brenda out to dinner. And, uh, and that's from uh, from Doug and Donna. Thank you so much for that donation. Uh, I will be taking Brenda out to dinner, but I won't be using any of your funds. You, uh, Thank you for offering that, but uh, those funds are for the animals, not for us. So we, we get pleasure out of uh, just seeing them eat. Oh, I know this one. I'm not going to be able to get through that one. Okay, here's one that's short and sweet. This is from uh, Mike and Janet Magnus from Richmond, Michigan. And uh, just a nice little sheet here. And it says, Dear Ken, uh, thank you for the great snowman video. We watch it at least. Uh, or at least check in every day. Please accept our contribution to help keep this going. Mike and Janet Lagness. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. And uh, give me just a minute. I'll be right back. truly have the by far the most amazing viewers in all the world and uh, and certainly the most generous viewers in all the world and I just I can't thank you enough uh, for all your help I've got one uh, message here that I wanted to share with you too uh, Richard forward this to me uh, that somebody had posted in the snowman cam chat room yesterday and I just wanted to, to share it with you. I can find it again here. Here it is. And I don't think this person will mind me sharing it with you because they, they posted it in, in open chat on uh, snowmancam.com. And it's from uh, Renee Wynn. It says, I just started watching and I'm hooked. Uh, this is so peaceful and relaxing. I've been ill over a year. I'm getting better and this uh, will help me so much. I already feel better watching. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Uh, you don't know what it means to me. I have bipolar, and then I got ill. 
I got on depression medication, which works great, but watching your cam will be the best medicine. Thank you, thank you. Yes, Happy New Year, everyone, and to all the fur babies we see here. And, you know, these are, I, I just wanted to share some of this stuff with you guys because it, it's amazing what I hear on a daily basis uh, from people of, of how much better it makes them feel, uh, how it's comforted them, uh, whether it's an illness or, or surgeries or if they're not able to get out. Uh, it's, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, it's heartbreaking and it's heartwarming to hear some of these stories. Uh, you know, there, there's people out there with, with terminal illnesses. Yet, they, you know, they still take the time to write. I'll be right back. I, uh, I just I get so overwhelmed by this whole thing. I really do. Uh, all the attention that it's getting, you know, it's amazing. Uh, and I certainly can't take take credit for it because uh, I I don't know what has caused this to be uh, to be I'll say successful. And to me, success is you know, not only being able to feed the animals, but to to make a difference in in people's lives out there too. So. It, it's a wonderful thing. I, I'm thrilled to be a part of it. I'm, I'm glad the, you know, the good Lord decided that this is what I needed to do. Because, uh, you know, like I said in the interview, I never sat down and planned any of this out. It just, it just sort of happened. I just did what I thought was right, and, and uh, so far it seems to be working out pretty well. So I, I, I know I have more stuff to tell you, but I just, I can't think of it right now. I, I, it'll give me something for tomorrow. So I'm going to take off. I, I got a lot going on right now. Uh, obviously, I have a job. I wish this was my job, but it's not. Uh, but this is a very high priority for me. So I, I spend a, a great deal of time in meetings, which I did this morning, and then I've got more this afternoon and, and this evening. So I'm going to take off and get out of here and tend to that. But uh, I can do it knowing uh, that the animals here are going to be fed. And thank you to the couple. I'm drawing a blank on their name. I know they introduced themselves to me when they pulled in, but all I can remember is they're from Midland, Midland, Michigan. So thanks to them for putting the food out. And I'll keep an eye on it, too, because my last meeting is at 7, and I'll, I'll be watching my phone, and if I see uh, that more needs to be put out, I'll, I'll be here to take care of that. So I just want to say thank you to everybody. And uh, as a reminder, uh, you know, check out our Facebook pages because I, I did just, I, I uploaded the news story. I, I think I mentioned it earlier. If I did, I apologize. But the, the, the professionally done news story, instead of the one that I recorded with my phone off the TV, that, that's been uploaded now uh, to our Facebook pages so you can see a real nice, clear uh, copy of that. And uh, they, they really did a nice job, and I appreciate that, kind of telling some background uh, story on the snowman cam and, and what it's doing today. So thank you to those folks. Uh, you know, thank you to everybody at, at Earth Camp. Appreciate uh, what you've done uh, for us here. It's a, it's amazing. Uh, yesterday when I, when I looked, we had over uh, five million views in the last about two and a half months, and it uh, I thought it would have slowed down by now, but every day it seems to be increasing, which just it, it amazes me. So I'll uh, I'll continue to yeah. You guys are pretty happy, aren't you? <laughs> There's a lot of good people around the world taking care of you chickadees. So uh, so thank you to the folks at, uh, at Earth Camp. Thank you to uh, everybody at snowmancam.com. Uh, well, I know Richard told me some other stuff that I needed to pass on, but my mind's drawing a blank. If I don't have it written down, I'll forget. So I'll, I'll share whatever that... Oh, I, I know what it was. It was about the T-shirts. Uh, we're closing out the white and the black T-shirts. We're not going to order them anymore because it, it was getting to be a little much. Uh, we had literally dozens of different colors, and, and it was really hard to keep track of all that. So we're going to go down to just one color. The T-shirts are really nice. It's a good quality fabric. It's got the Snowman Cam logo across the chest. And uh, eventually we're going to ha uh, just have navy blue. 
And right now we've got white and we've got black. So if you're at all interested, uh, we've, we're kind of limited in the sizes of them. But uh, if you wanted a white one or a black one before uh, we discontinue them, uh, feel free to go to the Snowman Cam uh, store, which is at snowmancam.com, and uh, order those. And, and I'll, let, I'll let everybody know when, when the last of them are gone, and then we'll be just, uh, just doing navy blue after that. So I think that's uh, what Richard wanted me to tell you. If not, I'm sure he'll call me and let me know, and I'll put it on the, the list for tomorrow. So I'm going to take off. I've got to prepare for a couple of meetings here. But uh, thank, thank, thank everybody. Thank, thank you to everybody. I, I appreciate it. Like I said, I'm overwhelmed by, by your support and your letters, and uh, it, uh, it just warms my heart every day to see that makes us all worthwhile. So I'm going to take off. Uh, I hope wherever you're watching from right now that you're warm, safe, comfortable, and well-fed. And uh, <clears throat> with your help, I will, uh, I'll continue to, uh, <laughs> to feed these guys here. So I'm going to get out of here <laughs> before I start babbling again. So take care, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow.